in this tutorial we will learn the polymorphism in typescript programming language polymorphism is a most important feature in object oriented programming by which we can perform a single action in different ways being object oriented programming typescript supports polymorphism types of polymorphism polymorphism is two types compile time polymorphism and run time polymorphism compile time polymorphism that occurs in method overloading and run time polymorphism that is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at run time instead of compile time now we will understand the method overloading in typescript method overloading cannot be performed directly we can make overload method with the optional properties so we are going to create a new class bank and we will overload a method inside bank class define a method m with no arguments and another method the same name of m with with one argument distance its type is number like another object oriented programming we can overload this process but in typescript programming language we cannot do this at first we have to define the prototype of overloaded method so define void and define with argument ok this is the process of method overloading we can add now we will set a condition for overloaded method if distance not null then this method with one argument will be executed with distance with distance distance is distance 
तीन मीटर अदरवाइज इट विल एग्जीक्यूट द मेथड एम विथ नो आर्गुमेंट now we will create reference variable of bank class and we will create a instance of bank class now we can call our loaded method with reference variable first call with first call method m with no arguments then call method m with one arguments so we need to enter a value for distance now compile this program with trans compiler okay first call a method with no argument so it will execute and print this message and we send a value to method m and it will execute and show this message with the value 200 okay now we are going to understand runtime polymorphism with an example code. Before starting, we need to understand the upcasting before runtime polymorphism. If the reference variable of parent class refers to the object of child class, it is known as upcasting. So we need two class to understand upcasting. Define another class and extend its parent class bank and now delete this now create an reference variable for SBI class let s b i and create an instance of sbi class if the type of sbi is bank then we will call this upcasting By the definition, we know that the reference variable of parent class refers to the object of child class. It is known as upcasting. A 
in this definition runtime polymorphism must have two class and must have inheritance relationship between two class now we are going to understand by an example code so create another class and extends bank class here class bank is parent class of class sbi ici class and this two child class can access the property of bank class add a method in bank class method get rate of interest and return a value now SBI class can override this method by this get rate of interest and return and ICI class also override the get rate of interest method of class bank return now create the instance of ICI bank and upcast now call and show the result of rate of interest method copy this and paste here and paste here and change the reference variable SBI and here ICI run this program tsc app hit enter load app ok it is working here the single action but we can make it different ways and it produce different result 